too many of us lump manufacturing into one big category. And I right. think there are, there are at least five categories. I won't bore you with our own view of it, but I think at the tip of it is this advanced manufacturing, which is more of the, it's using big data, it's, it's advanced materials, um, it's nanotechnology, it's, it's, a it's, a, it's the combination of uh, many of the things, the innovation, the capabilities that this country is superbly good at, the cross-functional capabilities. And as you said, it's a, it, it only is a roughly around 11 to 12 percent of GDP, but it's an <clears throat> extremely important flywheel. If it, it accounts for, we think, a third of U.S. productivity growth. So that, so that small, that 12 percent of GDP is accounting for a third of our productivity growth. And we go back to what Glenn said at the beginning, the difference of a 1 percent shift. This is a very big deal for us to be able to get right. Um, the other thing I would say is that the, the, this, the, this advanced manufacturing sec sector has actually been doing quite well. It was doing obviously very well before the Great Recession at about 2.6 percent growth. It has continued to do that in spite of all of the challenges and changes that's, that's going on. And we think that there's an opportunity for it to grow at a much more significant rate. And this is where, you know, doing actually work with Brookings, the work in Colorado, the work that's being done in Tennessee, the work that's being done in cities, in Colorado, it's with the space program. The, the areas where I think we could really advance advanced industries is, is by doing some of the things that the country does very well. If you look at the Silicon Valley, you look at the, it, what's happening in Austin and Texas, you look at what's happening with Cambridge, Everyone else in the world tries to replicate these, but it's very difficult to do. I can I could reel off mm -hmm. a lot of Russia's trying to do it, Malaysia tries to do it, China's trying to do it. There is something that we have, and it's in the I don't know how, it's it's in the air. I don't know where it is, but it's a collaboration. And I think if you look at what's happening in Colorado with the space program, you've got 370 companies. They're not all in one sector; they're multiple sectors because healthcare companies can learn a lot from space manufacturing companies, the video technology that's being used, the interfaces that's done uh, in, in the space program is very applicable to, if you're a young doctor uh, doing diagnostics and so forth, the medical device companies, you want to be together. And the role that government can play, especially state governors and, and, and mayors, I think, play a really important role in getting these clusters together. And I think that we, we see huge potential. I mean, the last thing I'd just say is that there's, where there's momentum, you know, we lost a lot of jobs, and we lost a lot of jobs in the broad sector of manufacturing mm -hmm. overseas. We are seeing more reshoring. 